grateful for your reception this morning and, and your applause. I do have to correct one or two things that Billy George said. <laughs> Just maybe two. Now, I've known Bill George for um, more than a quarter century. And uh, I know that he, we can say a lot of things about him uh, that are positive. One of, them, one of them I could say, uh, without a doubt, I think it's irrefutable, he's the best statewide AFL president in the country. That's without a doubt. And he's a lot more than that. He brings to the work that he does the kind of passion, the kind of values that he was raised with. Uh, values like hard work and sacrifice, values like watching out for those who are vulnerable, and also the value of fighting hard for what you believe in. And there's so many other, probably a lot of other ways to describe that, but I'm grateful for what he's meant to the people of Pennsylvania, uh, especially uh, working folks in Pennsylvania, but I think even beyond that, because the battles he has fought has improved, have improved the lives of people, even those who are not the men and women of organized labor, even those who are not rank and file union members, but especially men and women and children who are touched by the work that he's done. So I'm grateful for his leadership and I'm grateful for what he said about me. And I'll just make one correction in what he said. I didn't beat Barack Obama in basketball. <laughs> in fact, I was with him recently and one of his, he was telling a war story about the campaign trail, which is, you know, get exaggerated about how, you know, what happened on a basketball court. But one of his staffers, Billy, said, she looked at me and she said, very uh, innocently, oh, you were you on his team when you played? And before he could answer, I interrupted and I said, well, it was actually addressed, addressed to me, so I could answer. I said, no, <laughs> he never picked me for his team. He picked the good players. <laughs> That's actually true, both the story and the, the, the recollection. But uh, no, I'm, I'm really grateful for uh, this opportunity that uh, Keystone has made available to me and to all of us. And Steve, thank you for your continuing uh, leadership and scholarship, you and your team that you bring to uh, so many issues that relate to our economy, that relate to working men and women, and that we relate to the future 